What's up guys? Today we're back on the Porsche 928 wide body build and we're gonna work on the rockers. So as you may remember from before in a previous video, we've already modeled out what the rockers are going to be with this clay. So now we need to turn this clay to steel. So now I'm gonna break this down to pieces that we can work with. I think what I'm gonna start out first is I'm gonna take a pattern of this profile, get the length and get the long straight run here. It's one straight piece with no shape, just form. We're gonna make that first and then move on to the complex rear intake part of the quarter panel here. So without any further ado, I really need to stop saying that phrase. We're going to make this post haste. I don't know, what, whatever the kids are saying nowadays. Regardless, we're gonna start this part right here. But like any man, I'm just gonna stack it out the top. Don't, don't mind that. <laughs> so this is gonna be the curve. This is gonna be flat, and then flat, and then flat. All right, there we go. Then we got some shape. Now we can do the curve part. I think I, I think I should have done this differently, but we'll figure this out. I'm gonna attempt to use my uh, three three D printed die we used in the hunting cart as the lower base because in theory it should because it's soft it won't allow it to stretch as much. In theory, I'm full of theories. Think about it because like. On the English wheel, you can use a rubber band, like a big rubber, it's basically a rubber band, but it's not, but a rubber band that goes over the top anvil so that it won't induce stretch, or just form. I don't have a band for the upper anvil, so I'm gonna try to recreate that, but inverse here. Got a little ways to go yet. It's making fun noises. If that die is falling apart underneath. It wasn't made for this. A little stretch test here. I don't have any gaps in the center, so it's not stretching it, which is good. If it is, it's so marginal, that doesn't matter. I love it when a theory actually works out. Getting there, it's got a little further yet. I think that's probably pretty good. Remember to mark which side is out so you don't make it for the wrong side on the car. That would never do that. I would never make a piece for the wrong side of the car. That's illegal. That's never happened ever in the history of the shop. Ever. <laughs>
I gotta get this to peek, peek out, which means I gotta shrink a ton here. Get that to curl up. Get it like leaning towards you. Right. And throw it up. Yeah. Now forward, not backwards. Like top down. Top down. Like that, yeah. There you go. Now he's got it. This thing is so cool. When, when a TikTok ad gets you and you buy something. <laughs> gets me all the time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ooh, it works as fan too. Mm -hmm. uh. <laughs> 4D experience. <laughs> Yeah, that checks out. It's another box. Oh man. I got the stickers. Oh ah! man, they're even adjustable. Adjustable dampening. Adjustable height, adjustable dampening. There they are. The coilovers for the 928. We even got a graph for the uh, absorption. It looks like, kind of like a ninja. They got like the eye, the eye hole. The shock dino chart. Yeah, there we go. It's our, it's our, it's our ninja. He's angry. I'm not sure what that means in dino chart. <laughs> it but. means that it's gonna sneak up on you. It's a sleeper. <laughs> anyway, we have coil levers now. So now we just need the wheels. We'll put it all together and we'll be able to actually locate the edges of the fenders and quarter panels and begin welding stuff. Yes. Probably some more steps between there I skipped, but. <laughs> We need to make a shirt that has Tony going like this. Yes. Yes. This is the hand. Just yes. The hand. Yes. What? What shirt should we make? Actually, we've been talking about this. Besides that one. Let us know in the comments below if you're interested in Crucible Coachworks merch. What you would actually want to buy? Because we want to make merch, and we plan to do that very soon. Cool. Well, we should put these somewhere safe. Yeah. Like on this. Just leave it right here. Yeah, mm -hmm. we'll just slide it over here. Yeah, that's, that's what <laughs> I do. Wait, we have we have a shelf for this. What are we talking about? <laughs> Perfect. Got that brand new setup. Thank you, Eastwood. <laughs> oh my god. So this is the Eastwood version of the planching hammer we have, which is Harbor Freight branded. The big thing about this that we like is that another company, uh, Desert Tools, makes a drop-in kit to convert this post to their style post that has their own set of dies. That's the dies that we use. So we wanted to update our frame because the post is completely worn into the actual base of the hoop. If you look at this one, you can see our post is not perfectly straight, and it. It just doesn't, it just moves all over the place. It's all, the base is all reamed out from years and years and years of use. So we're gonna switch it over. All right, so we have the quarter panel intake mocked up now with the inside air deflection piece, we'll call that, I guess, also mocked up. Uh, before I go any further though, I want to figure out where the hole's gonna be here in the dog leg and locate and all that and figure that out so we can actually make the metal work match that because the concept here is to have the air roll in here then roll back in through the dog leg and then go to go to the trans cooler or wherever else we decide to route that too so there's a like guard here like a wheel well guard i'm gonna drop that we're gonna get a look into there and then we're gonna mark our hole we're gonna cut it and that'll give us a more of a idea of what's going on just uh file that away
Something that's kind of exciting, we're giving away one of these cordless tungsten grinders over on Instagram. The link is down below in our description. Now this is only available to Instagram subscribers. You can find out more about that through the link. Ready? Mm -hmm. Ready? Mm -hmm. Yeah, no hands. This tire's so flat. <laughs> so we got this side welded up for now. I'm happy with it, I'm gonna leave it alone. We're gonna work on the back here. I'm gonna cap this off, so I'm gonna pattern it, make it out of steel, and then it'll actually hold it to where it's supposed to be. That's where we're gonna push on the car. I could definitely push right. the car then. And it won't dent it. I am really sore from the what, four days now of working out? Right. Yeah, I work out now, so. Right, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we did we did uh, the Pilates step, which is flexibility, and I can't even get the same area code as my feet, so like, like that's as far as I can get. Like, come on, that's man. Not, that's not, show me your, your stretch. I'm pretty flexible for an old guy. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, I'll keep going. Oh, I'll keep going. How does he do that? <laughs> oh, what is that? Oh, yeah. What is that? <laughs> I really I mean, want to push you over. Gymnasts are looking at me right now and they're like, that's pathetic. But <laughs> I, don't, I don't even know how you start that. Like, there you go. That, that, that's all I got. <laughs> <laughs> does it for this video tune in next week when we continue the porsche 928 build we have coil overs to install and tons more metal work to do thanks for watching guys and as always if you could drop a like below and just let us know what you think of the build so far that helps us a lot you guys have helped us grow so much lately we really appreciate it and we'll catch you next sunday i'm gonna take a nap uh.